In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily whiten teeth using Affinity Photo. There is also a free macro for you to download, which will mostly automate the process. Check the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then please like and subscribe. Okay, let's make a start by adding our first tooth whitening adjustment. Click the adjustments icon and select HSL, hue saturation and luminance. To remove the color, bring down the saturation. I think around minus 50 will be sufficient. Good, the teeth are not too desaturated. Now we're finished with saturation. Next, we want to lighten them up. Adjustments and brightness and contrast. To lighten, just bring up the brightness. And I think about 25% or so will be fine. We're done with that. And now we have nice white, clean teeth. Unfortunately, so is the rest of the image. So we need to just mask the teeth. I'll do this using a group. Select the brightness and contrast layer and holding control, select the HSL layer. Right click and select group. Now we have a group. Let's open this up to have a look containing our adjustments. There they are. Let's rename this group. Teeth whitening. I think that's a descriptive enough name. Now we can add a mask to the group rather than the individual adjustments. To do this with the group selected, click on the mask icon. And now we have a mask attached to the group. So the mask affects the visibility of the whole group. We want to invert the mask so that we have no masking by default. So layer and invert. With our mask selected, select the paintbrush tool. Make sure our brush color is white. Let's just zoom in so that we can mask more accurately. Set an appropriate size for your brush using the square bracket keys, and then just paint the teeth whitening effect onto the teeth. With your new whitening effect, with your new whitening toothbrush, it's like you've created the ultimate whitening toothpaste and now you're cleaning the teeth. You don't have to be too accurate because we can just select black like so to erase the mask. White paints onto our mask and black erases from a mask. I'll make the brush a tiny bit smaller to get into the nooks and crannies. That's looking pretty good. Just a few tiny little edge areas left to tidy up here and here and here and I think we're about done and as you can see we now have pearly white shining teeth let's turn the group off then on and off and on and you can see the effect with the group selected we can set the opacity to change the level of the effect and there we have it Really quick and really easy tooth whitening. Lovely. And of course, we can always go back into the individual adjustments. Let's just turn this back up and double click the brightness and set it independently from the HSL. And obviously you can do exactly the same thing with the saturation. Very nice. So you have complete control over the whitening of the teeth. This video comes with a macro to make things a lot easier. It should make it extremely quick to add this effect to your images. If you don't have the macro or library panel active at the moment, it usually lives around here, then all you have to do is enable them. On the menu, choose View and then Studio, and then select Macro. Here on the macro panel, we can install an individual macro. Just select the little import icon here, then navigate to your download directory, mine is PC Downloads, and double click on the macro file. And the macro will appear in the macro editor here. But we want to move it to the library so that we can keep it and use it in the future. All you do is select the Add to Library icon. And in the pop-up, enter the name of your macro. I think I'll call mine Toothpaste. And once you've done that you could select a category if you liked but just click OK. The library panel appears 
and within the list of macros there should be the new macro. To use the macro it really couldn't be easier. I'll just control zero to center the image and then just click toothpaste like so and the macro has created this group. And if I open the group you can see that the mask is even already selected ready for you to paint on it. All we do is select our paintbrush tool, make sure it's white, and as before, paint in the mask or apply the toothpaste if you like. Okay, we'll warp speed this. There's no need for you guys to sit through this again, I think you've got the idea by now. There we go, nice white teeth. And if we toggle the group on and off, we can see the effect works as before. And that is how you whiten teeth really quickly and easily using Affinity Photo. Music